one of the biggest free agents on the market, Noah Gregson finds his 2025 home. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. Wow. So this this silly season is insane. This has to be one of the craziest silly seasons I have ever seen in the history of the NASCAR Cup Series. And one of the things that has really made it so insane it was the closure of Stuart Haas Racing. That made four drivers go into free agency searching for a new Cup Series or maybe even a different series ride you have josh barry who signed with the wood brothers you have chase briscoe has signed with joe gibbs racing you have ryan priest who's been linked to multiple xfinity series teams and then you have noah gregson who's been linked to pretty much everybody over the last week i'd say it's been a talking point for longer than a week maybe a month or two but over the last week it's really kind of been down to one team. Noah Gregson's been linked to all these different teams for months. He's been linked to RCR. He's been linked to Colleague. He's been linked to Joe Gibbs Racing. He's been linked to Front Row Motorsports. And then finally, within this last week, it sounded like the talks between him and Front Row Motorsports were getting quite intense. You've even seen in the last week a couple of different tweets from Bob Pachris pointing out that Noah Gregson is most likely to get one of those two Front Row Motorsports rides. Well then finally Front Row Motorsports, Bob Jenkins and everybody over at that race team held a press conference where they said they would announce one of the drivers and that driver ended up being Noah Gregson. Not much was announced with this deal. Noah Gregson has been signed to a multi-year deal, but nothing has been said when it comes to sponsorship. I personally would assume, but we've assumed some stuff before and been very wrong, but I would assume that Bass Pro Shop sponsors them for at least a couple of races, maybe Black Rifle Coffee, a couple of these sponsors that have really stuck around throughout his whole career, I would expect to have some sort of sponsorship on that car. They didn't even announce what number he's driving. We don't know if he's going to drive the number 34, number 36, number 35, maybe, maybe even a whole new number for Front Row Motorsports. That was even discussed during this press conference about the number. But this is a great move by Noah Gregson and Front Row Motorsports. Noah Gregson at this point, there was not very many quality Cup Series rides available at this point. They had all really been taken for. He really needed to get into this ride and he deserves it. He 100% he deserves it. He was such a great Xfinity Series driver and then this season has had a comeback year. At this point, last year, Noah Gregson didn't even know if he was going to ever be a Cup Series driver ever again. And now in this offseason, he had multiple teams going after him. And he's also joining a growing organization. We all know Front Row is continuously growing their relationship with Ford, getting top tier stuff at this point. Also, the passion is very high over there. You have Stuart Haas Racing. You have a couple of very passionate people in that building for sure. But here at Front Row Motorsports, I don't know if there's many owners in the Cup Series garage who seems to be more passionate about their team's performance and the day-to-day -day stuff than Bob Jenkins. I'm a big fan of Bob Jenkins and everything he does for Front Row Motorsports. And I'm very excited to see how Noah Gregson could fit into an organization like that. I'm also interested to see who ends up being the third driver for Front Row Motorsports. I've even heard rumors about Zane Smith potentially returning to Front Row to take that third ride. I don't, 
I don't know if that will actually happen, but whoever ends up getting that third ride, I'm very interested to see. I think front row should maybe go after a more experienced driver. You have two young drivers like a Todd Gilliland, like a Noah Gregson. I think you should potentially match them up with a driver with more experience. I'm not sure how they'll be able to figure that out and find a guy with more experience. That guy would have been Michael McDowell, but he's not there anymore. But we'll have to see what happens with the future of these two. But overall, I think it is a fantastic move by both the driver and the race team to get this deal done. But give me all your thoughts down below. What do you think about this move? Do you think it was a good move by Noah Gregson and Front Row Motorsports to make this deal work? Let me know down below. Also, if you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week, but that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.